rats in a rental property and I'm about to vacate them right now. So I got a call from Terry who seems like a lovely lady. She is a little frantic with the rats. She's starting to see rat droppings. Uh, she's seeing the rats go in and out of the kitchen area. Poor thing just had her dog die at two o'clock this morning but uh, she wants this rat infestation completely eradicated. She got a hold of the landlord who's in London who also seems like an amazing uh, lady. She says look Terry, whoever you feel most comfortable with, go ahead and hire, gotta get done. So let's go inside and see what the situation is and get started. All right, so Terry's gonna show us exactly what's going on okay, here. Okay, so there is a hole under here where they they come out for sure. Okay, okay. So how long has this been going on, Terry? Um, Months. Okay. Months. And so when I was on the phone with you, you told me that there was some droppings on the floor. Or on the so we, we, I mean, I kind of cleaned it. I kind of cleaned it out a little bit. But if you look back, I mean, we noticed them in here. I'm like, why are they in here, right? Right. And then we had the handyman come and you can see back there. Hello. Oh yeah, that's wide open. Mm -hmm. And so I, I had taken out, that we taken them all out. And you know, pretty much cleaned up, couldn't reach that one last piece back there. One dropping, <laughs> just couldn't reach it. So here's another thing. Okay. We, had, we pulled out the oven. Okay. And there's a lot back there. We didn't even deal with it. Really? It's just like, like massive. And things, they drag things under there. Up on there, they chewed that. Okay. You can see the top. Yes, yep. So, I mean, I've cleaned every So they cabinet. actually chewed that cabinet right there. Yeah. So that probably needs to be fixed if and if this i don't know if it's a home depot that it, it's okay and so there was stuff in here okay there was stuff in here i mean i've since cleaned it out of course had they eaten any food yes lots of food really really weird food they they chewed through dog food which i think we had out on the counter one time we have since then not of course now we don't have dog food anymore <laughs> yeah but anyway um they chewed open cartons of soup and broth very weird okay there's um droppings up there don't know how they get up there i guess now through here which i didn't know so we, we used to have a dog door i don't know if they came in the dog door i looked took it down last night when we came home because i didn't want my daughter to have to see it right but i don't know if they actually came in it or not it's right here i mean i can't imagine them coming in the flap but maybe they did yeah a lot, a lot of times they do in fact that could be a, uh, a yep, there's a rub mark right there. A lot of times it'll, we'll see that. See that, yes. that smudge mark? Yeah. Th those are grease marks. Oh. So what happens is as they urinate, they'll, they'll drag their tails through and they have this brown secretion. So that's a good sign that they were definitely coming through there, Terry. Okay. So thanks for telling me that. We got a big day ahead of us. Okay. We'll try to figure this Take out for time. us. Take your time. Take your time because we want to get rid of it. And you guys are going to pull out the oven? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, for God. sure. You're going to be... We, we, we had the handyman pull it out. And what did he say? So the handyman, because we wanted him just to come plug up the hole. Yeah. He pulled it out, he's like, yeah, so let's check out the drawers. Oh, that's how, and he's like, I can't, there's nothing I can do. He's just a handyman. Got he it. does like our faucets and stuff. Yeah, right, right. He's one of our friends. Okay. So he pulled it out. My sister took a, my, oh my God, my daughter, I'm so tired. No. She took a picture of it. I sent it to the landlord and she's like, okay, do what you need to do. Got it, okay. Yeah, uh, there's that. There's definitely a rat poop up there. All right, guys, so a lot going on there with that kitchen cabinet back wall completely wide open. I'm gonna explore that. But first, I wanna pull the uh, oven out and see what we have behind there. She said, be ready. So uh, we're gonna get our Tyvek suits on. Team's just showing up right now. We're gonna get that started right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull this, uh, this oven back here. All right, so we have our ferret camera inside this wall cavity here, and uh, you can see there's a lot of debris right there. There's an actual two inch pipe as well. So we're gonna explore that a little bit. Um, yeah, a lot of activity there. Look at that, look at that rat uh, droppings. There's 
paper. They drag some paper back there, maybe. Pull that paper back, Thompson. Right there. Right there. Uh, that looks like a pretty big hole right there. Okay, so we're gonna have to explore this right here. So there's the roof there. We're gonna have to take go up this first section here and then head up to that top section. So the kitchen is way over there. Oh. All right, so here's the kitchen, guys. Here's the uh, the two units. Here's the unit next door, and here's Terry's unit. You can see all the vents here. I'm not, I did a sniff check, and um, we're not getting anything from the sewers quite yet. That's interesting there. It's a pretty cool community. There's a little uh, lake behind each of the homes. All right, so we just got back from the roof, inspected that. Thompson's been working on getting this dishwasher out. Uh, I want to try to get, the reason why I uh, obviously want to explore the back of the dishwasher, but I really want to be able to have as much access as possible because something is going on behind this uh, lower cabinet here. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a lot going on underneath the kitchen cabinet. So Terry, what we're going to have to do is even though we have access, mm -hmm. well, we're going to have to open up the bottom of the sink. Oh, I we're going to have to take all that out. Okay. Because there's you. the reason why is because there's a lot of droppings. Yeah. There. Come on, cabinet screws. That a... Let's see. So that's a that's a breeze. Gym cabinet. That's what they covered there. Uh, originally, Terry got the honeyman out here and they put a drywall, which is great. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. Look at what they're bringing in underneath the kitchen cabinet here. Nesting materials. As you can see, we see a lot of this where people will try to put mint type of repellents. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it, it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this drywall back here, this is a suspect area just because of all of the debris. They're all over. They're coming definitely through here. The question is, is how? So there's a two by inch and a half vent right there. And that should go up to the roof. So let me see here. All right, so while I went up to the roof, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on these vents to make sure that they terminate all the way up to the roof. So we're gonna, I'm gonna knock down and then he's gonna tap and verify. I hear him now. All right, so we got the verification that that vent does in fact go to the roof. All right, I'm gonna go do the next one now. I'm gonna go up there and, and uh, talk to him. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, Juan. Yeah. I was trying to call you. Okay, what's up? The last, the last one that we did. Yeah. Is the, the two inches closest to the front of the house? Yep. The first one that you knocked on smelled real bad. Okay, but that, uh, it does come up through the roof, though. Okay, perfect. All right, we've got our smoke all the way up top. We're gonna do the smoke test. See if we get anything out of that kitchen. So the owner of this this townhouse here is going to call me. She's in London right now, so she wants to FaceTime me to kind of see what we're doing. So she's waiting for her call any moment right now. Well, we're we're checking right now because we deal a lot with sewer rats. So let me show you. Uh, so we have our smoke right here. Right. And what we do is we inject it through the roof vents like this. So this this pipe right here is above your kitchen, okay? But I think we found a suspect area. So a lot of times they'll be walking here and then into here because we're again right above the kitchen. So I'm gonna explore this area a little bit more. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not gonna get a halfway job or I won't do the job at all. I'd rather come in here and put my whole heart and soul into it and make sure that we get this taken care of for you once and for all. I appreciate that, thank you. I'm, it sounds like Terry Van 
job. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I'll keep you posted with all our videos and photos, okay? Okay, great. All right. All right. Well, have to say, you know, it's just fun. You, you're going to bake up there. Yes, it, it's a beautiful place though. I love working here. <laughs> okay, I just met the uh, the owner. We did a FaceTime. She's in the UK. Sweet, sweet lady. She was fully understanding of the situation with the type of damages that rats can cause. So she's a uh, definitely a good landlord for sure. Very proactive and uh, caring landlord. So that's, that's always refreshing because landlords sometimes are slumlords. See the, uh, the secretion marks up here, climbing up here and then onto the countertops. So these are really good visuals, guys. So if, as you're doing your inspection and you see this right here, this is a good indication that they're coming up and over, coming around, dropping down by the oven and then behind the cabinets. It's amazing how they smell the food and uh, they will work their way in to try to get, get to it. They'll bring all the plastics there to chew. You can see this, this right there. They've been chewing that. Anything, they even brought the bo uh, the dog bone back here. More plastic. So there's definitely a colony for sure. You can hear the, all the droppings coming through that hose. All right, so we got all of this sanitized and cleaned and vacuumed. All right, that's completely sanitized and cleaned. Removed all the debris. I'm gonna go ahead and set a, a rat trap back there. We're gonna go ahead and perform some exclusion work right in this area here. To block this, that's just wide open there, just as a preventative. So, so what we're gonna do, now that that door's gone and we're gonna close all the entry points, I'm gonna set some traps up. You may hear him them snap, we'll come out, we'll do, you know, we'll just have to monitor for the next few days. Thank you, be yeah, interesting. because I'm not, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't do, do yeah. dead rats, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't actually do live rats, but right. yeah, <laughs> So when it comes to kitchen and rats, the biggest, biggest thing is to make sure that all food source is completely eradicated from the kitchen. Everything bagged, everything covered and contained, dog food. All of those things make a huge impact when it comes to rats in a kitchen. So without the food source, there's nothing that's going to attract them. So it's really important, especially uh, during the trapping process. That's when trapping becomes very, very effective is when the food source is completely gone. So Terry's done a great job by doing that. Unfortunately, no longer a pet or a dog. So there's not going to be any dog food. So over the next few days, I'm going to be placing some traps in these areas. Hopefully we can get a couple and decolonize, but I think all of our exclusion work today is going to really prevent them from coming in. All right, so there's our rat trap. This is behind the uh, the oven. And then we wire meshed, foamed, and wire meshed, you guys. So that's that's all excluded. There's no more entry points behind that uh, area here. We'll wait and see what happens here on this trap. All right, we're applying our uh, urine destroyer decontamination. Doing a thorough wipe down. There's a link in our bio, guys, if you want to get some of this uh, resolver urine destroyer. Come out here, I'll show you the twin okay. trap. So we have oh. our very own enzyme. That's my twin brother and oh, I. Oh, very nice. Okay, so they get dunked into this enzyme. Mm -hmm. So the odor and all of that. Yummy. All right, so here's our twin trap. We're gonna set it right here, guys, because this is where the doggy door was. So the rats are used to going in and out of this area. So there's the counter right there. So each rat that we catch, It'll sh it'll display. So I'll have it, I'll preset it and get it ready on zero, Terry. It, yeah, it'll catch up to nine, but it'll it'll keep it'll rotating. Keep going. Yep. All right, we're getting our solution in there. All right, guys, cover that up. Cover that up as well. All right. So after conducting the smoke test, we didn't get any breaches in the sewer system. So the two entry points were over here on this rooftop where that hole was, and the biggest one was that doggy door. All right guys, it's been a long day here. Got a lot accomplished today. So we're gonna be in communication with Terry to see how the traps are doing. She's gonna be freaked out if one gets trapped in the house. We're gonna have to be dispatched right away to come out and get it. Uh, hopefully they hit the twin trap first and we can just kind of wait a week or so, so. Awesome. All right guys, it's been about two days now. We're gonna go in. Terry says that we've got one trap or one rat in the trap in the back. So we're gonna go check that out right now. Let's go see Terry. The good thing is, is that she said nothing in the traps inside, which is a really, really good sign. So let's go to the back and go check out the twin trap. 
wrap. Good morning, Terry. Hey. How we looking? Okay, so it, the counter went up to two, so that means that there's one in there. At least we got one. Okay, but nothing in the house, huh? Uh, ho no. Good Hopefully news. it recorded it. Oh, that's right. Look, guys, so we put up the uh, trail cam. Uh, actually had a very hard time doing it. So Terry said she had a grandson that was in videography and uh, he set it up for it. So I'm going to give him the credit on this one. <laughs> Day two. Let's check it out. Let me go get my gloves. All right, you can see that our solution here can't see it, so I'm gonna use the, uh, the grabbers here. See what we can do to pull it out. Oh, nice! Big tail. Wow. Yeah, that's a. I just don't want that in my consciousness. Look at that. That's a big tail there. That's the great thing about our enzyme, guys. There's no odor whatsoever. Cute little rat. It's probably one of the cutest rats I've seen in a long time. Look at that face and the ears. But I want to measure this tail. Yeah, it's uh, about a nine inch tail. Nine inch tail. For that size, that's uh, pretty big. No activity there either. So uh, today we're gonna go ahead and um, finish up the, uh, the patchwork here and put our acrylic for the waterproofing. Probably gonna use our pure black foam all the way underneath as well. That's what we like doing for uh, kitchen sinks. Super happy that there's nothing in the house and super happy that we're starting to get some rats from the twin trap. So I'm gonna end up leaving this here for another week or so and see if we can help sort of decolonize uh, around Terry's condo here. So super excited. That was a nice tail on that rat that I just caught. Amazing, amazing. So I think what's happening guys, these decks, the rats have plenty of water here and for food source they can come onto these decks especially if you have pets and things of that sort so um, this water here in these decks is a, uh, a perfect opportunity for rats all right guys so what we've been doing with our spray foam is rats hate tabasco so a little secret hack here is you create a little spray with uh, tabasco and water mix it up really good and then as you're applying your spray foam you first want to do the uh, spritz around the area that you're gonna apply your foam. As you can see, we've already sprayed. You wanna go ahead and really douse this foam with the Tabasco so it impregnates inside that foam. So if there's ever any rats, they're gonna sniff it and they won't chew it. And it also really helps that foam to cure very, very hard on that little white spray. Hey Jim. Yeah. What if it's a Mexican rat? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. If if the foam gets chewed up, we know it's the Mexican rats. <laughs> That's a good one, Thompson. <laughs> All right. So we've got brand new wood underneath there. Now we're going to set our acrylic on top of that, so it's watertight, waterproof. All right. So we've installed the uh, acrylic. Now we're just doing the caulking application around the perimeter. All right, guys, so I rebated the uh, twin trap, got the camera set up, and I told Terry we'd leave this here for the next uh, two to four days and see if we get any more action. All right, we're doing the final cleanup. Now you know the importance, you guys, to really open materials up. Get all that rat infestation, the droppings, the pheromones completely cleaned. Well, Terry's all wrapped up, no more activity, so all of the exclusions and the findings definitely help. We got that one out of the twin trap. Hey guys, thanks for following me on this journey, and as always, hit that subscribe button. That like is always a huge help to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.